confess, Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong. Hey yo 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 what's up man it's your boy TUSKO to the day Some call me Matiba Tote, some call me Mr. Flow so good Either way man, the elephant is in the room and I'm back with y'all with yet another one Welcome to another episode of The Drop, Streets is Watching, What Went Down Whichever name you guys you know want to call this channel or this show or this particular show of the channel You guys can leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know you know what names you guys would want me to name this section of the channel Because there are some other things like I said before that I want to add to the channel Besides just you know what I do right now anyway, my fate, we're talking about you know yet another interesting topic an artist by the name of flame Who was once upon a time signed to ambitious entertainment, you know left earlier this year um, Has actually come out taking a few jabs at you know the ghetto hero aka MT on a song on Avis's album called about the dough He actually came out saying Ghetto heroes fall from all the Twitter thugging. Trust me, I've seen them fall, buzzing and straight to nothing. So I suggest you stop playing with your thumbs, mate. Cause you don't wanna end up in the slums, mate. So listening to those lyrics, you guys can simply tell that Flame was actually coming out and you know firing some jabs at MT. Uh, because he actually comes out on the first line saying, you know, ghetto heroes fall from the Twitter thugging. And we actually know who's the person that actually came out with a song earlier this year actually called Ghetto Hero. That was MT. And, you know, he comes out basically suggesting that, you know, MT is a Twitter thug. Which is, he's kind of saying that MT is not really about that life. If you listen to MT's music, you know in most of his songs he talks about how much he's trapped, how much, you know, he's a gangster. If you check out his Twitter feed, you guys will see that he's always threatening people every now and again. Just basically telling them that, listen man, I've got real goons and if you really want to mess around with me, you can actually get it. So, you know, Flame is coming out to actually say that, you know what, this guy is a Twitter thug. He's not really a thug in real life or more or less subliminally, that's what he's saying. Now, listening to those lyrics and what he says on those lines, you know, even continuing to say that, you know, um, people fall from this Twitter thugging stuff, they go from buzzing and straight to nothing, so he's going to end up back in the slums if he continues like that. Um, I actually have to come out and actually agree with what Flame is saying on those lines because when you actually think about it, right, it's one thing to actually come out in your music talking about how much you're a gangster. Now, I don't know whether MT is a gangster or not. He might be a gangster, he might not be. That's not the whole point of what I'm saying but if he actually is a gangster I don't think he wants to be putting his business out like that like for example if you're gonna go out on Twitter threatening someone and something actually happens to him you know and your goons actually do something to him that's gonna be evidence to the police to the fact that you know you might be uh, the actual person that did that to that particular person who was bothering you or did something wrong to you so I do kind of agree the fact that you know people fall from all the Twitter thugging um, and you know police nowadays actually do you use Twitter to actually get people convicted so it's one of those situations I look at and I'm like I actually agree with this line um, but given the fact that MT has toned down on it it might not be as relevant today as it was a few months back but you guys leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think do you guys think that flame with these lines was firing a jab at MT and if it was do you guys think that MT is a real gangster or is a Twitter gangster? And if he is a real gangster, should he be putting his business up on Twitter like that? Leave me a comment in the comment section and definitely subscribe. Awesome. Now, wait, 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 Emma Billy. I know you want to go, but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name, man. Awesome.